Here at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, we saw a lot of really new innovations in voice and gesture control for all kinds of home electronics. But here, Audi is showing us how they're moving gesture control into a marriage with multiple head-up displays on the windshield. This is really interesting. Check it out. Now, it's an interesting matrix of three screens times four or five information types. The screens are laid out this way. The driver's screen, obviously, is only seen by the driver. The one in the middle is seen by driver and passenger, and the one over here in front of the passenger is only seen by that person. So that way, you can variegate things by their distraction level and usefulness to the driver or not. Here are some of the modes. That one there is navigation, very cool-looking sort of animated world navigation. If I move my hand up, I can go to an information card database. There's uh, some Audi news, for example. I can go this way again. I can also get to a calling interface. When the driver sees a call coming in, it's a thumbnail and the contact info only. Swipe that call over to the passenger, and it comes up as a video call if all the smartphone technology is in place. Find a piece of information here and decide I want to navigate to it from the nav interface. I can swing that over to the driver's side. And now that's turned into navigation by an augmented reality laid on the road. So like when I throw the uh, MGM Grand uh, sort of overlay icon from nav to the passenger, they get a video about the MGM Grand. And if they like it, they can throw that back over. That can go all the way to the driver who now has an info card, and that can be swung over to augmented reality navigation. So the same information type or task, if you will, changes its delivered mode as it goes from screen to screen, occupant to occupant. Oh, there are the basically connect cameras that are built in the dash that watch the gestures from driver or passenger. Now, this is more than a car tech demonstration. This is going to be one of the central issues 2012 and 2013 in this big brokered argument between regulators, car makers, and tech companies. Distraction is the big thing in car tech from this point going forward for the foreseeable future. This kind of technology could be a big piece of how we get to a middle ground where those that are on one side or the other side of tech in cars can find a middle ground they can live with.